Hey Ross, where my money makes money. All aboard the stock train. All aboard. Listen up. This is mainly for people who are between the ages of 18 and 30. Okay, because you have about anywhere from 20 to 40 years to invest your money. You have to establish a well-diversified stock portfolio. Now, don't you want to be wealthy? Don't you want to have security? Don't you want to have a future where your financials are great, where your financials are secure, where you don't have to worry essentially about money? Here's the thing. You have to have a good stock and a good bond balance. And I'm gonna release a video about all the different types of bonds, like talking about Z bonds and talking about government bonds and how you should really, or what I think you should allocate and have to really balance your portfolio. Because a lot of us, we throw in a lot of money in the stock market, right? But you haven't went to the government site and bought bonds. You haven't bought Z bonds. Like a Z bond, you can buy it for $600 and then in 10 years, it's worth $1,000. So if you're 20 and you got your tax return, you got inheritance, or, or, or you got a bonus on your job and it's like $3,000 and you're not missing that money and you won't miss that money, take that $3,000, buy some Z bonds and then they won't really double but you'll make three, four hundred dollars on those particular bonds. It will balance your portfolio because we all know that a bond is usually by, it's, it's a loan to the government or a solid corporation or business, depending on where you buy it from, and you're loaning them money to help grow their business. Or in our case, for the government, help balance the budget that won't never be balanced. <laughs> anyway, but you want to have a well diversified portfolio. And then um, one of my subscribers, they asked that if I will list my stock portfolio. And I've done this before. I kind of read off it really quickly. And the reason why I really don't do this is because it's your stock portfolio. Because they say, well, how much you making? And I tell people, I don't make that much. I think I average anywhere between 30 to $70 a day on my stock portfolio. Now, granted, if you're a big time investor, you're like, oh, that's trash. He's a small time investor. Or if you're just starting off, you're like, man, you make $30 a day? Yeah, think about that, $30 a day, roughly. Now, on on uh, before the stock market dropped a few points and the Dow went down, what, I don't know how many, 100 some points, that really weird three days we had, um, Three days prior to that, I was making $100 a day. So it just depends on what stocks are booming, who earnings call came out, did they you know, increase their profits or did they stay the same? And all those things are dependent upon how that company is doing in conjunction with the stock market and how the stock market is doing. Because we understand that the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ are the two stock markets and they exchange stocks over the stock exchange, and then you have the S&P 500, which is a stock index. That's why people really don't talk about that. But anyway, you have to be well diversified and well balanced. And this is just a quick message to those young people who are weary, oh man, I heard people losing money in the stock market. And I gave videos about, you don't lose money unless this, that, and the other. Just check that video out, it's probably, if you go on one of my playlists or something like that, it's probably the fifth or sixth video down. And it's like, you didn't, the name of it is called, You Didn't Lose Any Money. So I want you to be really well nods about this, guys, because I started when I was 20, but I started very, no, 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 I take that back. Well, I was 20 or 21. I can't recall, but I, was, I wasn't yet 22. But I started when I was around 20 or 21 years of age. I didn't know anything about it but I knew that all these people was getting all this money from the stock market. Now, yeah, I heard about the, the Great Depression and I went through the recession and that's fine. I always give my story about City Group. I'm not gonna beat your head about it. But if you're not investing in the stock market because you're worrying about day-to-day -day woes, ups and downs, it's not about that. It's about long term, even stash. Go on stash, they tell you, invest for the long term. 
because everybody understands in the financial market, in the financial world, they understand throughout the course of time that the stock market has always, always, I'm not going to say it always will, but it always returned 7% on your money. You can't beat that. 1% on your money, 2% on your money is great. It's phenomenal because guess what? You're putting money in somewhere and you're getting money back. Now, think about this. You're 20, you're 25, you're 30. You're within that decade. Start investing now. Now, if you accumulated debt, maybe it's through school. There's different ways you can get rid of school debt. You can get grants even after. You can put them in deferment and tell, just keep taking classes. I'm not trying to be fraudulent. <laughs> but there's, there's different ways where you can save money. Okay, in the description, I'm going to name it again. You have Dollar Saving Direct. Now, we're still waiting for Beam. I heard one of the subscribers like, hey, been waiting for Beam for a long time. My money needs some sense. I got you. I'm waiting too. But the point is this. You want to have a good balance of money and savings. And it's hard. We want to party. We want to go out and do activities. We want to travel. But you have to balance your budget. We're always talking about the four tiers of money. That's debt, budget, saving, investing in that order. And sometimes you can simultaneously do all of them. You have to have a good mixture. Even in those four tiers, you have to have a good mixture. You have to be diversified, okay? So people under 30, take heed to this. And for you, for you guys, my main subscribers are actually 30 to 50. If you are a mentor, if you are a mother or father, if you are aunt or uncle, if you are grandpa or grandma, please encourage your family members. Please encourage the youth to invest. If you see somebody, talk to them about it. Don't be afraid. Pass the word so those middle class people, those lower class people can have a future of financial security and financial freedom. The only way we can combat poverty is through information. Because if he's working at McDonald's and he's spending all his money on Jordans or he's spending all his money on Patson shoes or, 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 or skins or whatever it may be, they're not doing anything for their future. And guess what? You're the role model. You are the mentor. Whether you love it or not. Whether you hate it or do. See the oxymoronic thing you think? Anyway, but the point I'm making is this. Pass the information. Encourage them. Don't be a minute ahead about it because we always young at one point. And any time a person older than us try to make us do something we really didn't want to do, we were rebellious. Tell them of the importance. Tell them the information and have them to look 10, 20 years from now. Show them something that you may can encourage them. And see, this is the thing. We don't want to beat them in the head all at once. We have to slowly uh, uh, drizzle this in their mind, okay? We have to slowly input this into their brain. Because if they're materialistic, then play on that. Show them something materialistic. Say, hey, in order to get this, you have to work hard. And this is how I did it. I started investing. I started doing index funds. I started doing ETFs. Every now and again, I did individual stocks. At the same time I did that, I saved a little. I put it in the bank account, I saved a little, and I did not touch it. I don't have a debit card. I don't really use credit card unless I pay my bills and I pay off before the 30 days so the interest don't hit my head and make me pay the bank or the credit card company money. All of these things that I've been passing out to you guys, you have to pass it to another person. And if you're not well equipped, if you don't have the time, if you don't have the information, if you can't retain it, send them to my channel or send them to somebody else's channel. You know how I am, people. I want you to know the information. If you can't take it the way I give it, go to somewhere else. Go to Dollar and Cents, go to Beat the Bush, go to whoever. Go to whoever can convey the message in the way you can interpret, digest it, and comprehend it. Hopefully I can, but if not, I ain't a hater. This is Ross World. Young people, diversify and get started. I'm out.